Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining in. Today I'm going to... Now I need to cultivate some green beans. Hopefully, before that gets this way, which is a big old thunderstorm, um, we're going to get some stuff remounted. i got to switch up the tractor. We're at that time of year where this draw bar is going to hit the corn. That's why I got my... Call it my greasy gloves on. This draw bar is going to hit the corn, so it, it's got to come off. So, I promised a guy one time about a year ago that I would do a video on taking this draw bar off. So what we're going to do, I'll show you how about taking this off. And then we'll uh, get the back feet on and do a, do a switch on the back feet because it's also about that time of the year where I'm going to start running these in the middle and start breaking out those metals. Um, I just got done doing the uh, sweet corn, and I really, guys, if I, I gotta be real careful. If it rains much, I mean, it's beautiful corn, but if it rains much and that stuff grows any faster, it's gonna be tight, me getting back in it to lay it by for the last time. So, the you know, um, it's getting on up there pretty quick. It looks like it's gonna be a three plowing year. So on this fast hitch, when, you're, when your corn and garden starts getting high, I don't have the middle bar on it. It's hooked up under the seat there. Obviously, that's, you're, gonna want, you're gonna want this hooked up under the seat and hold on wheel. I was saying you want it hooked up under the seat. I thought my mic wasn't on, sorry guys. Um, you want it up under, hooked under the seat. So what we're going to do, what this is how I take this thing off, and I'm going to try to do it without getting this grease on me. Um, I mean, grease is your friend on this fast hitch. It really is, but it also can be your enemy because it will get you all nasty. But I've seen a lot of these... I've seen a lot of these things here uh, wore out because they never were greased. I like taking, if I can, get my leg up under this thing right here, take that weight off of it, take this pin out, fold that in. This one comes out like this, fold that in, fold that in. And see how they kind of roll to the front there? And then just sit it down. Now, I didn't mean for this pin to fall off the thing, but now this pin we'll use for the back foot on this side. And if you don't have one and you need to, you can take this pin out here and use it again on this side. But I made one a couple years ago cut it off just so I wouldn't have to take that one out. All right, so at this point, we'll just unhook the bail, which is this key right here. And a lot of times this thing has tension on it where you can just, I have made that thing just pop straight up in the air. But it looks like I'm gonna have to get my left hand on it here. Where am I at? Well, the whole draw bar de needs to be slid up some. There we go. Just kind of have to jiggle it a little bit. And she'll come on out. All right, we did it, guys. There we go. I have discovered Shout for the first time. They got a spray bottle of shout detergent or something, and you spray it on that greasy spot right there. And man, I'm telling you, I don't know how it does it, but you won't have no more greasy spots. All right, so now we're gonna take this, and I don't, I tend not to take it too far, because it is heavy. So we'll take it, move it out of the way, and we may put that on back in the shed later on. Don't forget this. 
put this back in the yoke. Brandon would love to sell you one, but they can be a little costly. So put that back in there. Now we're ready for the back feet. We got clearance. Um, I can, I'm not scared to cultivate a corn stalk this tall. I wouldn't want to do it first thing in the morning. I would do it later on. I'm trying not to breathe hard here. Um, so let's get some more stuff on here. I don't want to bore you too much with it. Just reverse your process on that right there. But that's, that's how you take it off. All right, guys, we are back. Just, what do you call it? Movie magic. One second, we were taking the fast hitch off. Next second, everything's on the tractor. <laughs> yeah, I got a little warm doing that. It's a little, a little hot. So we switched over to the sweeps. And I think this is the first time I've ever let Will actually put them on. Will put them on for me. Um, you guys have seen a video by now where I was cultivating with Roger's tractor and I said something to the extent of we horse traded out some uh, four gang cultivators for five. Here's the five. The bearings is uh, messed up on it, but I have some to fix it. I think I'm going to go ahead and tell me what y'all think. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and sand this off and paint these frames maybe white, IH white, and maybe, uh, maybe, well, I won't paint the spiders because they get knocked off so quick, but maybe IH white here and red there, or, yeah, I don't know. You let me know what you think. We're not going to paint the spiders, though. We'll leave the spiders, but the frames and the rock guards, figure out what we'll do there. So um, we got the sweeps on and got the fives back on, and I'm, depending on, I'm anticipating maybe of having to adjust those a little bit when I get back to those hastings. And when we lay it by, you know guys, we'll use, we'll use these on it when we lay it by for the last time. So we won't have to be trying to angle them too much. I went ahead and swapped to my international hopper. I have found over the years when you use, I got caught on that right there, caught my belt loop. <laughs> I've figured out over the years, once you use a hopper, go ahead and try to use it every year, but clean it out after you get done with it. Like the John Deere, we cleaned it out the other day. I sprayed it down with some lubricating oil. Just any type of oil will do. I just sprayed the thing down with this bead blaster. And so we'll use my international hopper for the rest of the year with the coal, coal, uh, fiberglass on it. And I still hadn't ever used the new hopper around there, but we'll do that. Walk out here with me. Well, actually, I'm going to drive the tractor out here. I'll meet you guys out here, and I was going to show you the garden a little bit. All right, guys. I'm a deer. I'm going to get some beans. I'm picking. Uh, maybe it's angled too far that way. I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's cut this off. We got to cut it off so we can cultivate it. And that's just simply unplugging it. Well, where's that? Ellie, bring me that uh, meter. It's going to be your oldest cans. What? what you got in your hand there to be the oldest ones. Yes, two and a half quarts. What does it say? The name on them. Uh, Ellie's got a slipping transmission, and I'm trying to see if fluid will help before we look at other things. Well, doggone it. 12.79. This thing has been 12.79 now for about four or five days. So that tells me that the battery will last a good while. So what do you think about the beans, guys? These are the uh, 
Roma 2, Roma, Roma, something like that. Flat beans, AKA flat beans. And you can see, you know, we were talking about when I planned them, you know, some questions about the plate that we used. But I mean, I think that's about, I mean, they're about a couple of inches apart. I mean, it may have dropped a two bean here and there, but I mean, it dropped them pretty good, I think. Let's go over here, Will. I wanted to try to put some disc on these potatoes. And here's that roll of cucumbers that we did with the Earthway Cedar. And you guys can get about a good idea of about what it dropped. I mean, they're not too thick by no means. And they're not too thin. I mean, the whole roll come up pretty good through there. And then here's the squash we did. Squash plant, squash plant, one there, two there. Looks like one, we'll give you a little help here. I'll give you a little help there, buddy. So, I mean, it's not, I don't believe that's too thick either. I mean, you hit it with some good nitrogen fertilizer, you'll be, should be pretty good. Stoles Evergreen. This is the uh, uh, heirloom corn, the sweet corn that you can re raise over and over again. I can see it coming up pretty good. This end up here is a little tight on coming up. That end down there looks like it's coming up pretty good, but I think I think some more will come on up through here for long. So hopefully my goal out of this whole 10 rolls is to eat about three pieces just to make sure I like it and put the rest up in seed for next year. That's my whole goal on the whole thing. So I'm not too worried if it doesn't come up perfectly good. And, and uh, I know the seed's in the ground, so it should come on up. Like that looks like one there. Yep, see that one's coming on up. So hopefully she'll come on out and do pretty good. Other than that, we're gonna finish up this video cultivating some green beans. Thank you, God bless you, God loves you. Um, just hang in there, everybody. I, I know these gas prices, I just don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, man, just uh, put your faith in the Lord and, and you know, try to do some things to kind of help look after yourself as far as maybe, you know, I think I've said this before in a couple of videos and I've done it personally. I've been buying Campbell's soup Every time we've been grocery shopping, ever since COVID come out, and I realized how far, far behind the eight ball I was, I've been buying Campbell's soup in a can, about two or three, every time we went grocery shopping and, and uh, stocking up. Because I, I figured, you know, what the better, got meat, potatoes, you know, some liquid in it, just heat it up, don't need a whole lot. I mean, you can, you know, you can start a fire and heat it up as pretty easy to fix there and it's got about every nutrient you would need and you you know you eat a can of that a day and supplement it with some other stuff you know i think you'll be okay but anyway thank you again guys we'll see you